In this video you will learn what is React Memo and when you need to use it. So let's look on the real example. As you can see here I have a slider which is just a component inside React. And as you can see here, here is our app, a list of slides and we are rendering here our image slider component. What is the problem? Inside this slider, as you can see here, we are using use effect. And inside this use effect, we are using set timeout. And here, every two seconds, we are sliding to the next slide. It is all working fine, and typically you won't see any problem until some point. But now let's write here console log use effect. And also here on the top of image slider, console log image slider. After this, I want to jump to the parent and create a new button. And let's say this is just a button with a counter. And here on the button we want to add onClick event. So inside onClick we simply want to change the state inside our parent. In order to do that I want to create a state for counter. And here is our set counter. And here we just want to use use state with initial count zero. And now when we are clicking on the counter button we just want to have a function. And we are calling here set counter with our counter plus one. Which actually means this is just a simple button inside parent which changes our state. But now let's look what is happening. I am reloading the page, here is our button, here is our slider. And we are getting here every two seconds image slider and use effect. And actually this is completely correct. Every two seconds we have a re rendering inside our slider. This is why we see console log inside our component and inside use effect. This is totally fine. But what is not fine is when we are clicking counter. As you can see I am clicking lots of times and we see lots of console logs inside console. Which actually means our counter when we are clicking it re renders our child component. So again, inside parent we have a state and when we are changing a state inside parent, our parent re-renders and also all children of our parent are being re-rendered. And this is the typical code that you are writing in every single React project and you don't have any problems. But in our case here we have problems. If I am clicking here counter lots of times, as you can see we don't have auto sliding feature inside our slider. And it happens because our use effect is called again and again and every single time we are cleaning our set timeout. Which actually means in our case here we have a bug that we must fix. What is the problem here? Essentially our image slider is completely isolated and we don't care about any changes inside our parent except of changes in our array of slides and parent widths. And when you have the case that you don't want to render your component, you are using React Memo. In order to do that we must jump inside our image slider and here on the top we can just import Memo from React. And now here on the bottom where we have export default image slider we want to write memo and then inside we are providing our image slider. Which actually means memo is just a high order component for our image slider. So what does react memo does? If our props of image slider in our case didn't change then our child component won't be re rendered. And in some cases it can fix performance problems and in our case we will fix our slider problem. Let's check if it's helped. I'm clicking here counter again and I don't see any difference. We don't see auto sliding feature and here you see all this re-rendering of our child component. Why it didn't work? By default React Memo compares with shallow all props. What does it mean? It compares it just with triple equality. Which actually means it is totally fine for the number like parent widths. But it is not fine for our slides because this is an array. And to prove that we have a problem in the slides. I can just remove here slides. And then just move all our slides just for testing inside our component. So I want just to copy these slides here and paste them inside our image slider and then remove prop slides. And let's check if it's working now. I am reloading the page, it is still working because we have slides inside, we have this auto sliding feature. But when I am clicking now counter a lot of times, it does not re-render child component. As you can see here we just get rendering like it should be inside child. Which actually means the problem is really in our slides, because our slides is an array and with array and object it won't work with React Memo. 
So what should we do here? First of all, I will revert our changes here and put our slides back. And the first fix that we can do here, we can just put our slides inside state. So if we will create here our slides and say here that this is a use state and inside we are throwing all these slides, then it will work. So now we are providing slides from our state inside our image slider. Let's reload the page and check again. I am clicking on the counter a lot of times, but it does not break our child component. Why it is happening? Because actually state is not changed between re-renders, which actually means the state is exactly the same like it was previously. So it was the first solution. The second solution here would be to write a custom comparator inside memo which actually means we must jump inside image slider and here as a second parameter we can create a custom function which will compare previous props and next props. And as you can see here inside our props we have our slides and parent width and we must write correct comparator. So in order to do that I will create a new value comparator and here we are getting previous props and next props. And if we are returning here false, it means that our component must be re-rendered. If we are returning true, then it should not be re-rendered. And first of all, I want to get rid of our prop parent width. This is why here let's compare previous props dot parent width. And if it does not equal next props dot parent width, then we want to return false. So this is the whole check that we are doing for our parent width. Now we must do our slides correctly. And in order to do that, we can simply return our previous props dot slides. And here we are calling every because we want to compare every single slide with every single slide inside our new props. And here we are getting access to every single element or slide. And here we are getting an index. And what I want to do, I want to compare element.url with our next props dot slides and here we have index dot url which essentially means we are comparing url because this is something unique for us we don't have an id inside every single object and this code means that if all our slides didn't change then we're returning here true in other case we're returning here false and now inside here as a second parameter we can provide our comparator Let's check if it's working. I'm reloading the page, I'm clicking counter and it is not breaking our code because we have custom comparator and we're comparing our slides correctly. And as you can see on the outside, I have slides just like a variable and not inside the state. And here are two last things that I want to mention. First of all, as you can see, React Memo does not stop things like use state or use reducer inside our child component, which actually means if we are changing state inside our child component, this is totally fine and our component will still be rendered. And the second point is that you for sure now think, okay, I must write React Memo in every single component and everything will be super fast. This is a bad approach. You shouldn't do any optimization until you have a problem, because calling React Memo also takes resources, which actually means you must use it only to fix the problem in your child component or if you want to make your child component faster. And actually, if you are interested to know how to build a slider without a sliding feature, make sure to check this video also.